Okay, so this is another experiment. Here we will demonstrate that how a microphone input port can be connected to the DSP port and the data is stored within the board and after that we can release the data through uh, some buffering. Okay, mm -hmm. and so here just come closer to the board. So this is a microphone input port where the microphone is directly connected. There is a microphone, my condenser, it is being connected to a stereo jack. And uh, we are sampling, mono sampling, only one channel we are sampling. And this is the line output port through which we are producing the sound which has been captured from the microphone. This has been produced back. After some, uh, we will do that particular modification on the code. And at this particular time, it is a real time output is produced, right? So signal is coming out, uh, coming in this particular board through this line input, ADC sample, right? Digitally collected to the memories and then it releases without any delay. Okay, so this is time, this is real time audio input and output channel, audio loop back, we can say, right? So if we just uh, look at this uh, screen, now I'm just going to mute for some time. Yes, so there is no signal. Now I'm just talking in front of it. So you can see that real time speech is basically going to show over the screen. So now I'll be just naming, uh, I'll be just pronouncing some specific numbers. Let it be clean first. One, two, two, three, four five so in that way we can see that uh, the trace is coming back and then it reproducing the signal so this is basically real time audio loop back via this dsp board right now what is the utility of this particular experiment so uh, in this particular experiment we can uh, basically show you that how this loop back and uh, right now suddenly you can see the ac is turned on so there are background noise now it has been again turned off so background noise reduces okay so all these things in the real time sound can be captured and processed via the dsp boards right but here i'm not showing any kind of processing here i will we will have different experiment there we will explore about how to process it in the real time so now uh, i will just change this particular program little bit so that we can have a little delay introduced earlier it was one sample delay now we are going to introduce 4k sample delays build the program now this is being loaded fine it is running now so now just look at the screen as you can see that there's a, a little delay about it right so after some delay, the signal is reproducing. Okay, so this is basically the audio loopback problem, right? So this particular audio loopback uh, is basically being shown over here. Now, if we just go back to the earlier mode, I think uh, let it be pierced once again. Let it be sample to be one sample delay okay built it once again debug run this code so this is pretty simple just changing the c program you can uh, immediately change this configuration and just uh, do accordingly as you want so this is again i told you in theory classes that what is the main advantages of dsp hardware is that how simply you can modify the hardware this is easily reconfigurable Okay, so if we uh, talk louder, okay, so we can see the amplitude is going to be increased. So if we just go away from the microphone with the same intensity, we can see the uh, sound signal is going to decrease, the amplitude signal is going to decrease. Okay, as you can see from here, right? So this is audio loopback experiment, simply audio loopback experiment. Okay, fine. So, so this is end of the experiment. Uh, we will explore one more experiment uh, based on this uh, particular signal processing that is signal filtering. Okay, thanks. Stop.